What's up, Anaratex? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back playing on X Life, and in today's video, we're gonna be decorating the inside of my house and the outside of my house. Now on stream the other day, I actually started working on my basement. So if we go down here, we have a cute little storage room. So we have two main storage areas on either side of the room. We have some extra in these corners over here. Then obviously we have the furnace wall. We have some crafting tables with a stone cutter and a loom in the corners. And in the middle, we have a blue fluffy rug. So since I finally have a chest room, you know what that means? We can finally get rid of my dirt hut. The thing is though, I did start doing a little bit of AFK fishing in that hut, so we're gonna have to move that to a different location. But for now, we will grab our shovel and start to destroy. Oh, did I tell you guys that I got a cat? Because I got a cat. I have to move him inside and give him a different collar, but this is my cat, say hello. <laughs> the dirt hut is officially gone. Beautiful, you know? While I'm out here, uh, I should probably break this. It is very tall. <laughs> that just gave me like five stacks. Amazing. Okay, come here, kitty. Follow me into the house. Hello, where is my cat? Excuse me, friendo. Hey, do you wanna, do you wanna go inside? No, no. I found my cat. Look. Hi. Stand. Lead, come. <gasps> Thank you! Now sit. Now as you guys know, my house is obviously blue and purple. So I wanna decorate the outside with some blue and purple trees. And Lizzie and Scott were nice enough to give me some. So now I have 10 blue trees and 13 purple trees. I also have 14 pink trees that maybe we'll mix in, but we'll see. Let's go decorate the outside. Okay, I finished decorating the outside of my house for now. It's not completely done, but it's a good start. So if we go outside, you'll see this is the little path that I chose. I wanted to have something that was kind of natural, but also blend it into the stairs that I made right here. And also to keep up with that natural vibe, I left these grass blocks in between the steps. And if we go back up here, you'll notice that there's a lot more grass now than there was before. And we also have the pretty trees. On the trees around the front, I added these hanging lanterns. And then I also added a bench and some little mushrooms. I started putting these colored leaves in like random places just to kind of, I don't know, give it more of a design. I still feel like it's pretty empty around here, but we will be adding more things as we go on. Also, yes, I used pressure plates for my paths instead of just like the regular stone rock path because I didn't have the materials to make them but I actually think this is kind of cool because it's kind of like a little alarm system if there's ever any bad boys around my house I will definitely hear them coming but anyway now that you've seen this outdoor area you might have noticed that my hearts changed my hearts reflect the color of the clubhouse that I'm currently in so because I'm in the two heart clubhouse my hearts are blue now before we get decorating the inside of my house there are two things that I want to do first I did not know that you could dye backpacks and I do not want this poop colored backpack anymore. So we're gonna make it blue. So let's just combine some light blue dye with my backpack and now we have a light blue backpack. Oh, this is so cute. Now the other thing I wanna make is a time wand. It seems like everybody else already has one. So I wanna make one too. First, we need to make a clock. 
and then we just add some sticks to it to get a time wand. And basically what this does is it gives us the power to control the day cycle. Also, I don't know why I'm holding it in my hand like that. That, 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 that's very weird. So if I just click on this, <gasps> it's nighttime. And if I click on it again, it's day. This will be very handy if I ever get stuck outside at night. But now I want to go downstairs to show you what I was working on earlier in this chest. I have gathered everything I need to decorate my house. <gasps> I forgot. <laughs> Guys, while I was outside decorating my house, Scott came over and he brought me a crap. Ah! Oh my god! Evil! <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> Scott brought me a crab. Uh, okay. He pinches. He's got little pinchers. He's not very nice. He's cute, but he's not very nice. Let's stick him in this lead for now, and maybe we can create a cute pet area one day. But anyway, uh, now for decorating my house, I actually want to start upstairs. So if we go upstairs, you'll notice something different. Uh, there's a new room over here. This used to be a little balcony. Um, but I changed my mind. <laughs> this is gonna be my closet. And then across the way, we're gonna make a little office. But first, let's start with the bedroom. So we're gonna add three purple blocks as like a little headboard. Then for nightstands, I was thinking we could do the iron trap doors with some carpet on top of it. Then because the carpet is a little bit higher, we're just gonna bring it across so it looks seamless. Now we're just gonna place our bed down in the middle and we're gonna surround it by some white slabs. Now let's get rid of these torches, and instead we'll hang some fairy lights. Now unfortunately, because I put carpet here, I can't set anything on top of the nightstands, but I think I can trick the system. If I put a slab here, I can do a hanging pot, but then let's break the slab and add a carpet. <gasps> it looks like a little shelf! Now let's just grab some peonies, and we have a cute plant! I think it'd be nice if we added another hanging pot up here. Now that this area is done, let's work on my office. Again, let's get rid of these torches. And this time we're gonna add two concrete blocks to the corners and then some upside down stairs in the middle. That way it kind of looks like a desk. Now to make this look even more realistic, we have to go downstairs and design some banners. So we'll add our light gray banners and then with the white dye, we'll select this option and then this option. So now if we go all the way back upstairs, we're gonna add two item frames on the ends with some slabs inside, and then we're gonna hang the banners to look like drawers. Now do you guys know what this banner design is for? If we place it over here, it kind of looks like a little computer. On the right side, we can add a button to look like a mouse. On the left, we can add a diamond just because it looks cute. In the corner, we can add another potted plant, and then we can create some shelves with some carpet. Now for the chair, we can just place down a slab and then have a banner on the back of it. Maybe we can hang another pot from the ceiling and we can add some fairy lights. Oh, I almost forgot. We can make some iron bars to look like a keyboard. We'll place down a glass item frame and then we'll place down an iron bar and rotate it. It's kind of close. Okay, so now that our office is done, let's go work on the closet. So we're gonna start by adding three blocks of concrete to each side with three in the middle. Then we're gonna add two armor stands. Then we're gonna add an iron door on this side and on this side. And then we're gonna place an iron trap door over here with a piece of carpet on top. And now to make this look like an actual piece of furniture, we're gonna add some carpet along the top. Now on the sides, we're gonna add two regular banners and then two that look like this, so it kind of looks like closet doors. And in the middle, we're gonna add some more item frames, some more concrete slabs, and three more banners to look like drawers. Now while I was designing my closet in my creative test world, I learned something new about armor. I did not know that you could dye leather armor different shades. I'm not 100% sure if that's a vanilla thing or a modded thing, but you could basically make pastel armor. Before we make any leather armor, let's go see if I had any from fishing. We have a lot of boots. Oh, and we have some leather. Let's go downstairs to the storage room to see if we can make everything else. So I have seven more pieces of leather in my chest, which makes 14, but I don't think this is gonna be enough for a full set. It's not. 
Well, I think Joel is selling zombie flesh and zombie flesh turns into leather in this game. So let's go check out his shop. Oh, it's a zombie hand. That's really cool. What does this say? Use Emerald Jeremy to trade books for emeralds. Oh, that's cool. And I'm assuming his shop is up a ladder. Why would you do this? Okay. <laughs> Hope I don't fall off. Oh, he's selling leather too, not just zombie flesh. Oh, but he's selling two stacks of flesh for one diamond or one stack of leather for one diamond. Let's grab two stacks of flesh and we'll give him our diamond. And so I don't have to wait forever to cook my flesh, we're gonna buy one of these too. Okay, now I'm kind of scared to go down. Oh, I hate this, why'd you make a ladder? While we're over here, let's see what else is going on by spawn. Obviously, there's the four heart clubhouse. Then we have our two heart clubhouse, but some things look different from the last time I was here. There's a one heart clubhouse now. That's so cute. Oh, and this is Scott's magic carpet blind auction. Basically, he's auctioning off a magic carpet, but I don't have enough diamonds to enter. But that's okay, we'll get a flying carpet one day. And then, what is this? Right in front of our clubhouse? Uh, excuse me? Flip slime and mob farm shop? <gasps> Oh, wow, this is cool. <gasps> Look at the little slime ball. This is so cute. I'm gonna have to buy some of these one day because I would love to have some mob farms. This spawn area is starting to look really cute, but uh, we're done with what we need, so let's go home. Okay, I have all the leather armor that I need. Now we're just gonna dye our pieces and make them pastel. Look how cute that is. Okay, so now that we have all of our armor, let's add the pink to this armor stand. We'll add the blue to this armor stand. Then on this side, we can add some iron trap doors with some carpet on top to look like shelves. And then we can use these clear item frames to display our shoes. So we have our purple shoes, our magenta shoes, our blue shoes, and our pink shoes. Then we can just add some hanging flower pots to the corners with some more flowers in them. Now let's just add some carpet and some fairy lights. And our closet is done! Guys, is this not like the cutest Minecraft closet ever? I think this is my favorite room in the house. It's just so cute. Okay, now across from my bedroom, I was thinking that this could be a little lounge area. So let's add some stairs like this to make a sofa. Then we can add some banners on the sides to look like armrests. We can put some purple carpet down in the middle. And then in the corners, we can add some lamps. So now that this lounge area is done, I think that's it for the upstairs. Actually, I do want to add some more of this purple carpet in the middle. There we go. And now that this is done, let's go work on the downstairs. So starting with the kitchen, we can add a sink in the middle. We can add a drawer here and here. Then for our stove, we're gonna have to add a slab. Then above this temporarily, we're gonna add another block with a rail on top to add our mine cart. And then if we break this, It'll fall right into place. Then we just need to dig down here to add a redstone torch. So that way the trap door stands up. Now above our stove, we can add a wall with a hopper to look like a little vent. And if we wanna make it look a little bit cooler, we can add a campfire underneath it. So now it looks like you're actually cooking something. Ugh! Oh my God. Did someone just kill the wither? That noise scared me. I'm just trying to decorate my house in peace and they're murdering things. <laughs> anyway, back to my kitchen. Something that I thought would be pretty cool is if we just kind of got rid of these blocks and replace it with white concrete there and there, we could then add an iron door so that it looks like a fridge, but then we can add a button and put an egg inside. <laughs> so now whenever you open up my fridge, there's an egg in there. On top of the fridge, I think it would be cute if we add a little flower. Then on the counters, we can add a glass bottle and an apple. Now to the right of the kitchen, I figured this could be like a little seating area. So first let's add some of these iron trap doors to make a little shelf of plants. And now in the middle, we can add a table and some slabs with banners for seating. I just wanna quickly grab some wheat and then go back inside so we can make some cookies. So now if we go back to the kitchen, I figured we could add a glass bottle there and a cookie on the counter. 
Now to the left of the kitchen, I figured that this could be our living room. Since we don't really have TVs or anything, I'm actually gonna get rid of this window and put a fireplace here instead. So here's our fireplace. Now I just wanna add some iron trap doors as a mantle. Then on the mantle, we can add a flower. We can put a campfire in the fireplace with some iron bars around it. And then for my couch, we're gonna go ahead and add some armor stands to the corners. Then we're gonna add some of these helmets so that they kind of look like pillows. Now, in order to finish this couch, we will have to force these blocks down with pistons. Squish. Now we can just place another stair this way and another stair this way, and they look like little couch pillows. To match the blue aesthetic, we can add a little blue carpet in the middle. In the corner, we can go ahead and add a lamp, and then behind the couch, we can add a table with some flowers. So now that this downstairs area is done, let's finish up with the basement. My basement is pretty much done. But um, I made a few more storage crates because I realized I did not have enough storage. And I also want to label them with item frames so I don't get confused. So this is our stone chest. This is our clay, sand, and gravel chest. These are some extra building materials. This is my wood chest. Then we have glass, wool, lapis, and redstone. And then on this side, we have dye, plants, emeralds, and diamonds. And then we have gold, iron, food, and ender pearls. All right guys, well, I think I'm done decorating for now, so let's go on a little tour. So outside now, we have this really cool stairway leading up to my house. We have a bunch of pretty trees, a cute sitting area with some mushrooms. We have a pretty cool path leading to our house, which doubles as a security system, which I think is kind of fun. I promise I'll get rid of all these torches eventually. But for now, let's go inside. This is the main little entryway. Here we have my kitchen. We have a cute little fridge with an egg inside. Then we have some glass bottles, a cookie, we have an apple. To the right, we have a little dining area. And then over to the left, we have our living room. Now downstairs, you guys already know, this is a storage room, you just saw it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then as we go upstairs, you'll see our little lounge area, our bedroom. Then over here, we have our little office room and our closet. All right, guys, well, now that I've shown you my house, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what room is your favorite. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.